Hey yarn friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. So today I wanted to talk about crochet hooks. There are so many different kinds of hooks out there, different um, handles and such, that basically you just have to try out a lot of different hooks to find the hook that fits your hand best and feels good to you. Now I do have different hooks that I like to do use with different yarns. Today I'm going to talk about the 5.5 hook, which is also the I-9 hook. This is the hook that I go to as my personal preference. I like the way um, it work, you know, works up yarn. I have a very tight tension, so um, it probably comes out more as a 5 when I use a 5.5. But anyway, so I want to talk to you about these different hooks today. Um, here I have a boy hook, a furls, a yarnology from Hobby Lobby, another furls, a, another yarnology with a bamboo wooden handle, and a Susan Bates with the um, rubber grip, and then my son Elijah made this group for me to go on the outside and he is going to do a video tutorial for me on how to make these. So this is the 5.5 hooks that I have. So I'm going to set these to the side and I'm going to crochet with each one of them telling you about the hook. Okay so I'm working on this blanket. This yarn that I'm using is a, a mandala a three weight yarn and so this hook is really too big to use with this yarn it calls for a smaller hook because it is a thinner yarn but I am using a larger hook one because this is the hook I like to use the size that I like to use two I wanted this project to be light and drapey and open and airy so I'm using a bigger hook so that it's not tight um, this particular hook is from Hobby Lobby. It's Yarnology. It has a bamboo wooden handle. And um, to be honest, this is the hook that I grab the most when I'm doing a project or going to try something to see if it works or if I'm running out the door and grabbing some yarn just to do something in the car. This is the hook that I grab. This hook glides for me, it works, um, it's comfortable in my hand, it works well in my hand, and um, I can really get going and pick up a lot of speed with this hook when I, when I do get going and not having hangups like that. I can really pick up a lot of speed, well, uh, speed with this hook and um, just fly through my project. So I do, I'm having trouble with that one, aren't I? Here. Okay. Well, I think I have my project just kind of stretched out here and let me get a little more comfortable. Okay. So anyway, um, this, like I said, this is the hook that I use a lot. You can see that um, my yarn does just tend to glide through on this hook. Now, I don't like this particular hook for every yarn. Different yarns I like different types of hooks for. But um, this is one of my favorite hooks. Okay, so that is the bamboo handled yarnology hook. Okay, um, another hook that I have is the Susan Bates. It has that rubber grip on it, and then my son added a, another rubber grip for me. The main difference between these two hooks is this little throat section. I don't know how well you can see that on the camera. This one has a very deep 
throat, and that may not be the correct word, but that's what I'm calling it. This one has a more shallow throat. I really like the deep throat better. This one is smooth. This one, when my hand reaches up to this part, there is a slight roughness, like I can feel the edge of this up here. So I like to use this hook when I'm using the Michael's Sugars and Cream Cotton or the Secret Crafters Cotton from Hobby Lobby. I like to use this hook with that yarn. The roughness of that yarn and the roughness of that hand of this little throat area right there works well for me together. Now I'm kind of going a little bit slow because of that roughness. I just don't want it to snag this project that I am like almost done with. I don't want it to snag up the yarn so I'm kind of going a little bit slow with this but you know this this hook you know crochets very well it um, is a great hook also I know I know a lot of people do prefer this hook so I'll do this last little section here and then move on to another hook I can feel the little snagginess of it if that's what you could call it okay so this was the Susan Bates and I believe I got this one at Joann's with a grip handle and then we added a grip and then so like I said, I would do a video coming up showing how to add these gri um, grips. So if you want to buy some of those little little rubber bands like you get at Michael's, um, I think they're called, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I'm sorry. But we have, we're going to have a video coming up showing how to make these. The next hook that I'm going to um, use is this furls hook. This and it's very pretty. It's um, very shiny purple. And this hook was gifted to me. It's a very nice hook. It was such a wonderful surprise also. So um, this hook fits my hand really well and it does just crochet really awesome um, it glides through there's no problem there's no snagging it feels really good in my hand this part right here is very smooth and it's a little bit deeper than the first hook that I used but not as deep as that second hook the problem with this hook is it gets it's heavy and it gets a little too heavy for my hand and I start dropping it a lot because I don't have that great of a grip but if you don't have issues like as I have then it would probably be a great hook for you the other problem is this hook is very pricey so it's kind of um, a little too pricey just to try out a hook to see if you like it where the hooks I showed before were are probably like um, two to three dollars this one is uh, significantly more than that so it, it crochets very well it's a nice hook like I said it's just heavy and it does get um, a little heavy for me and I'm gonna go ahead and crochet this little section right here and turn the corner And so I'm going to slip stitch down to my corner here. And chain three. Okay. 
So this is the furls hook. I don't know if it has a special name. Um, it is a big, big handle, and it does fit my hand grip very well. It's just heavy. So I can use it for short periods of time. The next hook that I will show is, this is a yarnology hook from Hobby Lobby, and it is um, plastic. This is a little bit rubbery with plastic here, and it kind of gives a little grip there. So, um, uh, I don't know the exact price of this hook, but it's probably like two something. So, um, this hook is all plastic, and it works fine. Like, there's no, there's nothing bad I could really say about it. It just doesn't glide quite as easily. I'm going to turn my um, project, so bear with me. It doesn't glide quite as easy as the metal or aluminum hooks, I guess you would call them. But I do not have any issues uh, crocheting with this hook. It works fine. It's not my hook of choice, um, just because it's not quite as smooth, I guess you would say. Yeah, it does have a little bit of a, a more deep throat area there. But I don't hardly have anything against this hook, other than it just doesn't... Um, glide quite as smooth. It's not dragging too much and it's not snagging. It's just, um, there's just a difference in the glide. So I would definitely buy these hooks just to have multiple hooks in different crochet bags or something. You know, you know how we all have crochet hooks that we might throw in different crochet bags but then we keep our special hooks that we really like to use out. So anyway, this is the Yarnology from Hobby Lobby. And these hooks have it right here that says the size. So, and it does have a little bit of rubberish to it here. So it, it is easy to grip. Okay, so this next hook that I'm going to use is a Furls wooden hook. This hook is very lightweight, very, very light. It fits well in my hand, and I do have um, kind of unusual grip, you know, for my hand, but it fits very well in my hand. It is it's very light. It's almost like too light because it feels like I'm not even holding anything. And just the opposite of having a heavy hook, it feels like nothing's in my hand, and I end up dropping it because it's so light. I don't know if that makes sense, but my hands are also numb, so having a very light hook, it's almost like I'm not holding anything. I know that probably sounds confusing. I'm also, um, I know this is a very expensive hook. I'm also um, a little bit hesitant using this hook a lot because I, I'm just afraid that I'm going to break it. And I know that it's a pricey hook, but it's very lightweight. This part feels thin, and it's just so light. I don't know the chances of it breaking. I don't know, like, if that's a common thing or not. That's something I just made up myself, that I'm afraid that I'm going to break the hook. I have nothing to back that up with. <laughs> so, anyway, it um, it's a very nice hook to crochet with. There is a slight, not a squeak, but more of a slight, slight drag. I just got tangled up here. It's a slight, slight drag that you probably wouldn't even notice if I hadn't just, you know, switched from aluminum hook to this hook back to back like this. Like if I just grabbed this hook to crochet with, I probably wouldn't even notice that. But um, it does work up, you know, really well. 
with the yarn I can get going and get some speed going there for me. It's a very nice hook. You can tell it's well made. Like I said, that part where I just said that I'm afraid that I'm going to break it. That's just me and knowing that it's an expensive hook. And I don't want to drop it. You know, so I am just very careful with it. But you can see that it, it you know, crochet's fine. All right, so again, this is a wooden ferrules hook, and all the hooks I'm using today is a 5.5 hook. The next hook I'm going to show is a just a regular aluminum boy hook from Walmart. Okay, so this hook is not a good hook for my hands. I have Reynolds and this aluminum is cold to touch and so I really can't use these hooks one there's just not any handle to it for me I need something that is a bigger handle um, two it's cold and I have rain knobs and so when I'm holding this hook the coldness of it will make the blood stop flowing in my hand and so um, I, you know, as I told you, my hands are already numb, but then when I'm holding a cold hook like this, this cold metal, my um, fingers will turn just white, white, white. Like, they will turn this white because there's no blood flow. So I really can't use this hook. I will just try to use it for just a second here, but I would never pick this hook up to crochet because um, of those things. First, there's no um, handle for me to hold on to, so that makes it very uncomfortable. And then the second thing is uh, the metal hook makes the blood stop flowing in my hands. So I'm not going to use this hook. I was just going to show you that. But um, a lot of people do like the boy hooks if they don't have a handle issue or a metal issue. So over all in all, um, this is the hook that I'm going to continue working on this project with. Now I do not have a Clover 5.5 hook. I would like to get one at some point. I do have a Clover 5 millimeter hook, the H hook, and I do like that little hook. It does glide very, very smoothly. And um, I often call it my magic wand. I would like to get a clover eye hook in the future, but I don't have one yet. And I think if I had one, that would be my choice hook. But right now, this is the closest that I have. So this is the hook that I use. So I'm going to finish up this project using the hook of my choice, which is the Yarnology from Hobby Lobby, the bamboo wooden handled hook. So down below in the comments, why don't you tell me your favorite hook, your favorite hook size, and your favorite hook brand that you like to crochet with. Thanks for watching, and I will all see, see you all again very soon.